You know there's one card that I really want in the game? I think a flashback bow thing would be kind of cool. I think a flashback bow thing would be cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Every flashback card that we've sort of asked for, we've kind of got. Kimmich, Boateng, Snake. The absolute audacity. I'm just gonna go ahead and request, uh, you know, you know how we got Raquel mid mid game. Remember that time that um, remember that time Philip Lom played played for Newell's old boys and he won the couple Libertadores four times in a row with them. EA, can we get a Philip Lom Conmebol Libertadores icon, please? That'd be just grand. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 91 rated flashback Jerome Boateng episodia. Uh, an episode that I'm not sure we really need, if I'm being quite honest with you. We have so many Bundesliga center backs. Uh, Konate. I I'm probably going to leave a couple off. Uh, flashback Hummels. Konate. We've got a couple of, well, at least one future stars in the form of that Kabak. Um, Zakaria. Uh, Akanji, a whole lot of players that we have right now, and then this one comes in, I think, over a quarter of a million coins. As a matter of fact, I think it's actually over 300,000 coins. Requires an 87 and an informed squad, and then an 86 and an informed squad. So becomes one of the highest rated and one of the most expensive Bundesliga center backs that we have seen. So, um... A lot of you guys that are running Bundesliga squads probably have at least two or three of the guys that I have just mentioned. Uh, I feel like a lot of you guys probably got Zakaria done. Akanji, if you if you guys are Bundesliga supporters. Um, I mean, maybe you didn't get Akanji. That's 100 XP. That's a, a hella expensive card to have. I have him over on the RTG. I can almost pretty much guarantee you I'm probably going to complete him. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I'm going to get Boateng on that account. Because we have Akanji, Zakaria, and Hummels. I'm kind of regretting doing Hummels now. I'm kind of regretting that we did Hummels. It wasn't the most expensive card. I think he was under 100k, uh, if around that. Uh, but now we do get ourselves Jerome Boateng. And I'm just thinking how nuts it would look pairing those two together uh, on the RTG. But uh, we are gathered here to take a look at this Jerome Boateng. And see if this card might be worth doing. And like I always say, boys, if you guys do enjoy the episode, is, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now... Uh, Two-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He's 6'4". He's got the medium-medium work rates. On the base card, you see he's got the 83 pace. He's got the 82 passing, 85 dribbling, and then very nice defensive stats and physical stats, 91 and 92 respectively. It is a 248 total in-game stat upgrade. Acceleration goes up to 95 with the Shadow Chem style, and sprint speed, goes, uh, sprint speed goes up to 94, making him one of the fastest center backs, even stock in-game. 87 shot power. Um, he's got some really nice passing stats. He's got the 94 uh, long passing, not, uh, 85 short passing. If there's any center center back in the game that deserves long passing Jerome Boateng in his prime was one of the best deliverer he was one of the best center backs bringing the ball he almost played like a center back CDM hybrid and I wonder maybe even if that's a place where you could play him as possibly CDM but 70 agility is more than adequate 66 bounce we're gonna see how that feels 99 re reactions is elite 99 composure is elite 90 ball control is very great and then 82 dribbling as well so I'm, I was thinking about maybe touching some of those stats but as we saw yesterday with the uh, Taquara Cardozo episodia even a guy with low agility as long as he has really good ball control and decent enough dribbling he could feel and offset a little bit of low agility but 70 for me for a center back is more than fine and then the defensive stats there's really nothing else you need to say with the shadow chem style they all get pretty much max jacked jacked, jacked off 99 strength 90 aggression 74 stam is something might be something i'm a little bit concerned about but the medium medium work rates and given that he's a center back i'm fine with and of course we had to throw him into a bundesliga squad he has his uh he has his uh player moments teammate joshua Kimmich over there we've got flashback manuel neuer we also have player moments um alfonso davies we've got ourselves nico schultz who i think i'm gonna bring off for me and then we've got a pretty uh pretty standard um bundesliga squad up top and I'm wondering, do we want to splurge out on a particular player? I want to use Haaland because he is going to be my fatal player. That's going to be coming to the channel on either Saturday or Sunday. But um, I'm thinking, how many coins do we have? We have ourselves 408,000 coins. So I don't think I can afford... Wait, hold on a second. Never mind. We have 1.3 million coins. Let's be real, dude. If you're doing a, if you're doing, if you're doing a Jerome Boateng epi, you got to have Lewandowski in the squad. Tell me that doesn't look sick. Oh, wait a second. He's there for the rest of the game? Yo, that's huge. Is this the first flashback item that we've seen get that treatment? He's going to be there till the end of the game, boys. So he's... Wait, wait, but I thought that was only reserved for player moments. It's Wikipedia? All right, you guys already know what it is. I like to check what that... Uh... Oh, he's got sick boots too. Hey, he's got 84 shot power, dude. Don't put it, don't put it beneath him to get some goals in too. 
All right, he's got... Feels pretty decent on the ball. Let's do the close touch dribbling. There's a close touch dribbling right there. Feels pretty good on the ball, to be honest. Distribution pretty decent as well. Okay, the first thing that I noticed of Boateng, he was the first of the uh, he was the first of the center backs to track back. Falta Davies. There we go. That's Luka Jovic. That's one of the strongest players in the game. Drone Boateng, making uh, making light work of him. Hit my line. Luka Jovic. Kevin Gameira. Contundente interception. I would have preferred Boateng to make a run towards him and try to do something instead of just letting him rip that shot off. But I mean, I can't really blame him. That, that wasn't his guy. Go, Jerome. There we go. Of all the players to be there, Ozan Kabak is there. Legitimately, I feel like any other player would have put that in. We're getting close. There we go, Jerome. That's the. I think that's one of the first times I've actually seen an AI defender initiate a slide tackle on his own. Just that speed out. I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. Jerome, what the hell was that, dude? 300k for that? I mean, is that an is that a, is that an EA is that a gameplay problem or is that is that a Boateng issue? The audacity. Remember when Messi took out Jerome Boateng's soul? Why is the ball getting past him so easily? <laughs> Dude, all Boateng does is slide tackle. Joshua Kimmich! Let's go! That's all he does for us! Joshua Kimmich bangs it in the 56th minute! Lewandowski. Kimmich is the best player on the pitch. You could feel, you could feel the full icon squad in Kimmich. If you have this player moments Kimmich card, he will always be the best player on the pitch. Something about Kimmich's card. I don't. I guys, he has in in 62 weekend league games, he's got something like I think 40 goals from the RCM position along with like 32 assists. For dude, for whatever reason, his finishing is absolutely clinical, dude. Joshua Kim, the little lamb, the Philip Lam reincarnate. That was it. That was our win. That was the dub. Did you see something? Ref! There's no way for me to sugarcoat it. That was not an incredible performance from Jerome Boateng. Lewandowski la tiene. Lewandowski. See, where was that? Where was that in the first game? Where the hell was that? Where the hell was that body faint in the first game, boys? Okay. It's more like it. That's gotta be it. There we go. Is that gonna be a rage quit? Timo Werner to Robert Lewandowski. I gotta do more near post. I'm always very nervous. I feel like I'm living in FIFA's past where I feel like I need to take crossbody shots and stuff like that, but near post. Lewandowski, better not miss that. On his way to a Hattie, boys. At the Al Jaid.
No, never mind. He's like a he's 190k. Did I say 300? Buena pelota regalada. Timo Werner. That's in. Here we go. Great one. Done deal. The audacity. Can we say... Can we say Bundesliga? Did you see what Serge Gnabry did on that build-up play? And he's only 87 rated, and we're expected to possibly get him as a Player of the Month candidate for the, uh, for the month of February. Bruh. There we go, Boateng. See, that's a situation where I feel like he could probably play CDM. Let's take a look at the pace. Who is that? It's Vinicius. Boateng on Vinicius just absolutely destroying people. Should we just try one? Is that... Wait, te technically I feel like that's an assist. 5-1. And in Division 4 too, which is basically Div 1 right now. There we go, Boateng with the interception. That's a plus play. He's made more plus plays than he's made uh, negative plays. And I think that might have just been fluky. I, I think that one, uh, the second goal that we conceded in match number one, I think that might have just been a little bit fluky. There we go. That's game. 6-2. Jeez. So Boateng gets an 8.7 in match number two. Tackles one. That's more like it. Three out of three. Two out of two for Kabak. I felt like we played a more defensively compact match in that one as well. Dribbles completed six out of six. Seven out of eight. Almost the perfect match. Even had a shot on target, uh, which actually ended up converting into a goal. And I believe it was Timo or Ganabs that put it through. Actually, I believe it was Timo. But um, a very solid second match performance from the main man himself. It's here till the end of the game. Um, it, there's no expiry on the SPC, which in my opinion is a huge dub, which in my opinion makes the value a very, very easy thing to judge. Um, and for me, for my, for my money, for my coins, if I'm, if I'm looking to insert them now, or if I'm looking to grind them towards, uh, at some other stage in the game, probably want to get them pretty soon with team of the season rolling around. Going to have some pretty nuts options around then. But for me, that's a five out of five. That is a huge dub. I like the fact that there's no expiry. It's a very, very good card as well. Uh, the only weakness that you could possibly pinpoint is the fact that he does have that low stamina, but the on the pitch performance, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a four out of five. You already know what it is. He played very, very solid for us. Very, very strong on the ball. The, uh, the ball control was very very good and his distribution with the 94 uh the 94 long passing uh was very nice to see as well so we do get a board in our first pack it's gonna be one of the many brazilian no lopez lopez leon lopez so four to five in terms of uh in terms of performance on the pitch the packs weren't great we got ourselves that uh we got ourselves in dombella and then 85 lopez so i suppose you could do worse get ourselves uh get it get ourselves an 85 rated there but that is going to do it for the episode yeah, boys i am off to watch the uh champions league matches We've got liverpool atletico and then dortmund and um Dortmund and PSG, so it should be very, very fun to watch. Should be fun viewing. And then we're going to be streaming over on Mixer later tonight. Going to be streaming uh, some, uh, putting together our squad for the Weekend League. Maybe even getting that Boateng completed on the RTG and then ripping packs and then possibly playing COD with Nep, either Nep, Matt, or, uh, or, um, or Nick as well. Maybe re reunite the Band of Brothers on COD. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Até.